Hey, good morning, my friends. I'm Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here. Welcome to the M Live Morning Weather Update. I've got a lot lined up for you today. We do have a stormy pattern. You'll see that on the satellite picture. I think that's one of the things that we, uh, you know, in broadcast meteorology and TV, we always don't have time to show you, and I do. We can look at the big picture and see what I like to call the parade of storms lined up. Sometimes you see three or four storms lined up across the Pacific, and you know that those are coming toward the U.S. Sometimes you see the Pacific pretty quiet, and we get kind of in a lull too. Right now, the Pacific is not in a lull. Um, and then we're going to look at the colder temperatures, but it's going to take a while for the colder temperatures to move in, so we'll look at some warmth too, but we also have to say hello to folks. Hey, good morning, Angie Decker. Thanks for watching. Janet uh, Sirdazki. Good day, eh? From North Branch. And uh, Shirley Kaplinger and Amy Keller. Thanks for watching as well. All right, here we go. And uh, again, we start with the satellite picture and the commotion across the U.S. So look at the several batches of clouds. There's actually, you know, fairly tropical moisture feeding in from the south, from Texas, up through Kansas, onto the northeast, toward Michigan. And then you see a strong, curling, white storm system out in the Pacific Northwest. The two of those are going to combine over the next three or four days and really not give us a chance at a good dry out. So currently, we're starting to see the rain pattern shift. We're seeing shift into the southern part of the state. Here's your current radar. So Ann Arbor and Detroit, you see those showers down by Jackson and Coldwater and, and the yellows. Those are a little more moderate type rain shower and heading toward the northeast. So you've been escaping the rain and you're going to start to get into some scattered showers. Uh, as we go through the morning hours here. And how do we know? We look at models. Um, you know, when I started in, in the late 80s, we had a couple of models. We had three models, I'd say. Uh, longest out into the future was 60 hours, two and a half days. Now, you, know, you see where I show you models that go out uh, 16 days or so. We didn't have this high resolution rapid refresh. We didn't have a radar forecast, and that's what this is. When we got a radar forecast and modeling, us meteorologists went nuts. We loved it. So here's uh, 10 o'clock this morning, 11, 12 noon. And remember, this model I found it runs an hour early. Um, hour earlier, I, I guess I should say an hour late. So what it's showing at noon here probably is more like 11. So I'll just adjust it for you. This is noon. And so you're seeing showers, Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Lansing, uh, Jackson, Ann Arbor, Detroit area. This is two o'clock this afternoon and three o'clock and four and five. So the idea today is spotty showers in the north. You've had certainly enough uh, rain. Uh, Tom Ramsey's going to Glenview, Illinois <laughs> for, I don't know if you want to go there for Halloween because Michael Myers could still be out there. Uh, so the story today is showers shift to the southern part of the state. So, uh, you know, you're going to get wet. If you're around Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, Lansing, Jackson, Saginaw, you're going to be just kind of on the verge. And, and it's just a, a muddled pattern of precipitation where you can't really plan on anything dry for very long. Now we pick up with the next model, and the next model goes out farther. Uh, same idea. So we go into the afternoon here, and it's showery in the south. And then look at this configuration. So you see a line of showers and storms out in Wisconsin. You see a line of showers and storms running uh, almost west to east across lower Michigan. That's the warm front. And look at those showers. Those showers move north. That means that this is tomorrow at noon. That means the southern half 
uh, of Michigan and even up into Taos gets into what we call the warm sector of the storm system. And so tomorrow could turn quite warm in the afternoon in the south and southeast. And then another piece of the storm comes at us with some showers and thunder showers. And then as we go out to Friday noon, you see that thin band over in Wisconsin. That's finally going to be an authentic cold front. And I'll show that to you here on the temperatures. So these are the hour by hour temperature forecast. We never had this back in the 80s either. Thank God for the modelers. Uh, so we go through the night tonight, and we stay pretty warm. Grand Rapids, you stay in the low 60s overnight, and so does Lansing, and so does Saginaw and Flint, and everywhere to the south, even up to uh, Traverse City in the upper 50s overnight. Uh, now, this is tomorrow afternoon, so we're looking at 70 degrees uh, in the, you know, anywhere from Grand Rapids to Mount Pleasant to maybe toward the Tawas area and southward. That includes Bay City. Hey, good morning, Lynn Savage from Sterling. And then notice Thursday night, the cooler air line trying to come down, but as the storm approaches on Friday, the main part of the storm, the warmth surges back to the north. Look at the temperature contrast. Can you see the cold front out through central Wisconsin going from temperatures in the 60s to quickly temperatures in the 50s in just a few miles? And then we look at uh, colder temperatures behind that. So, so we, you know, the, it's kind of a complex situation, but the main thing to know is that we still have mild weather today, which is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I think we start to cool down by Saturday morning, and it's just a, about a 10 or 15 degree cool down. And then early next week, of course, we have Halloween. So I'm going to do a post about this on MLive today. I'm going to look up the past Halloween weather because I feel like it's always horrendous. Um, probably, I think I'm going to find that 6 out of 10 Halloweens have had precipitation over most of Michigan. So we'll look at that later on on MLive. But now let's uh, look at the European model longer term to see when that cold air does indeed move in. So we're into Wednesday today and we're mild. And Thursday is warm. It also brings us up into the 70s in southern two-thirds of lower Michigan, southeast two-thirds. And Friday is still mild. And you see the cold front over there. And this is Friday night. And this is Saturday morning. So, you know, we go from 60s to 50s and upper 40s. That will be a change. It's not dramatic, but also then look at the second dramatic change. Um, look at out in Wisconsin where the temperatures will be in the 30s. Bill Beechamp, what does uh, is, is Sunday morning in Gladwin look like? We'll get to that here in just a second. So high temperatures uh, today in the 60s. Tomorrow in the low 70s for a lot of us. Uh, Friday in the low 70s for a lot of us. Even, <coughs> excuse me, even approaching 70 in the north. Traverse City to Alpena. Saturday, 50s in the south, 40s in the north. Sunday in the upper 40s. Monday in the 40s in the east. Maybe 30s in the northwest. That might be a little bit overdone. With warm Great Lakes water, it's hard to stay under 40 degrees, uh, Tuesday, you know, 37 to 42, Wednesday in the low 40s, Thursday back to the mid 40s, and next Friday into the low 50s. So it's not like we're plunging right into winter. All right, now, here is the rainfall in the snowfall. I guess we got to get used to saying it, right, uh, in the forecast. So this is today you saw was showery. Uh, Thursday, we get into that warm sector. We dry out in the southeast, uh, but we don't in the north. You know, Traverse City to Mackinac Straits, the UP, you stay wet, wet, wet after already four and a half inches of rain in some places like Honor up in uh, Benzie County, west of Traverse City, four and a half inches yesterday. Now, this is Friday. 
and the cold front comes through, not with a whole lot of fanfare on the precipitation. Now we go back into the another main storm system Sunday into Monday. So someone asked about Sunday in Gladwin. You're probably in the afternoon going to start to turn very cold showery. And then here it comes. This is Monday. And of course, let's go to Halloween Eve. And what do we got? We got snow showers mixed with the rain. And as you would know it. Uh, and that can make it on uh, November 1st in the early morning hours. Can even make it over to the eastern side of the state with some flakes of snow hitting the windshield. And then it looks like <laughs> the next system shows snow as well. So, whoa, what happened here, folks? All of a sudden, we start seeing two storm systems with snow on it. We go like, hey, this is getting real. So enjoy the mild weather. It's going to be tough to find a really long stretch of dry weather here over the next several days, but you will have windows. Um, my pick window for getting something done outside is Thursday afternoon in the southeast half of the state. Grand Rapids to Mount Pleasant to Tawas, south and east. You might have a shower, but if that dries up, you go to the low 70s and uh, could maybe get some work done outside finally. There you have it. This is the MLive morning weather update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Thanks for joining me. And we will see you back here tomorrow. Bye.